To create a video using Screencastify, you must first download the Screencastify Chrome extension. Once you have downloaded the Chrome extension, you can open up Google Chrome, and you'll see the Screencastify Chrome extension in the top right corner. To start recording, go ahead and click on it, and then you'll be uh, you'll have a few options. You're able to record your browser tab, the whole desktop, or just the webcam. You can also choose, if you have more than one microphone, you can choose between your microphones. And you'll also see um, if your microphone's working. You're able to, to click on that. If you do click on it, you can make adjustments as well. You can adjust the slider to make it quieter or louder. And then you have the option to either have your webcam on or off. Also notice with the free version of Screencastify, your videos are limited to five minutes in duration. If you're all set, you can go ahead and click record. And then you have the option to record your entire screen or just the application window. So I'm gonna go ahead and click my entire screen and you'll notice when I do that, now I have the option to go ahead and share. Uh, before I share, you'll notice in the bottom left-hand corner, I have my webcam video. So with this, you are able to um, adjust the size of it. So you can click and drag the corner to make it larger. You can make it smaller again, and you can also move it to anywhere on your screen. So if you want to have your face there, you're able to do that, um, and you can move it so it's out of the way. If you maybe want to start with, with your video, but then um, not continue with it, you can always click on the X and close that. So when you're ready to go and start your recording, go ahead and click on share. So you'll notice there's, there's three beeps. On the third beep, the recording actually starts. So now that we're recording, you'll notice in the top right corner of Screencastify, there's a red circle showing that we are now recording. Also, on the bottom of my screen, it says Screencastify, screen video recording is sharing your screen. So this also lets you know that you're recording. Uh, if you were to click stop sharing, that would stop your recording and stop your video. If you click hide, then that would hide this toolbar. Uh, sometimes that's maybe in the way of what you're wanting to show. So you can, if you want, you can go ahead and hide that. Now, if you want to pause your video uh, while you're recording it, you can, there's a shortcut. It's Alt, Shift, and P, and that will pause the video. If you want to stop your recording, you can hit Alt, Shift, and R, and that will start or stop the recording. You can also always click back up on your extension. And when you do that, it shows how long your recording is. It also allows you to pause that, stop it. Um, you can delete it, or you can start your recording over. When you are all finished recording, you're going to go ahead and click on Stop. And you'll notice that it's going to go ahead and start playing your video for you. So you can see on the timeline, my video um, my video is a, uh, one minute and 10 seconds long, and it shows where I'm at. If I wanted to listen to what I was saying, I could click on unmute. And then you have a few options. You can give it a title. So if I want to call mine test video, you also have a few other editing options. You can, if you don't like it, you can go ahead and delete it from here. And then you also have a few sharing options. You can publish it directly to YouTube, which is very nice if you like um, using YouTube as a platform to share your videos. You can share it to Google Classroom. You can get an embedded code, and you can also download it to your computer. So you're able to download it as an MP4. You could also do, do audio or video um, as well. When you have decided um, what way, if you want to download it or share it, you can do that it will automatically uh, default to saving to your Google Drive. So if you don't do anything, the video will be saved in your Google Drive, and you can always find your video there. You also have the option to change that as well. Instead of having it go directly to your Google Drive, you could also have it um, download to your computer.